No, I, uh, I had a lovely time in the Navy, I did really. And uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come out. They were phasing out lots of jobs that I did, you know. And um, so I came out and uh, I never forget, uh, dear Joyce said to me when I came out, she said, Michael, your holiday is now over. <laughs> The only reason I joined the Navy was that I was in the dockyard for five years and I hated every minute of it. I had two pound one and four pence a week, but I'm going back in 1954, you know, and I used to give my mother half of my wages a week. I had, oh, not quite half, I had one pound and 14 pence and she had a pound. When Joyce and I got engaged, I said to my mum and dad, I said, no, I said, I'm going to have to cut this down. I said, because we've got to save up for our wedding. So we cut it down. And then just before we got married, Joyce said, look, we can't, you can't be doing this. You can't do any more. So I had to go and tell mum and dad that, look, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to cut it out altogether. You know? I was originally going to try and join the Merchant Navy but this came up and I joined the Royal Navy and uh, it was purely to get out of the dockyard I just didn't want that and I was young and I thought well I've got an opportunity to see the world you know and I mean which I did and that was the only reason it was nothing about going to to fighting conflicts you know far from it you know um, I never actually was in a conflict at all in, in my time, which I was quite pleased about, you know. It was very handy for the Navy, for, for me being a shipwright, that I was a diver, because um, my kind of training was, in fact, ship's construction, the hull and watertight doors and things like this. So being a shipwright, I knew what was underneath the ship, you know. I joined the Cubs and the Scouts and that was my life, the Scouts, right up until I almost, well, I was in the dockyard at 15 and I was still at 18. I was still doing my scouting, you know. And then I started to go dancing, you know. I went on a Saturday morning and um, to learn to dance, you know. And all the guys in, in my entry, you know, found out I was learning to dance. And, you know, you can imagine the, the jibes I got, uh, you know. Uh, but it was, it was one of the best things I, I did, really, because I loved dancing, and Joyce and I used to dance very, very well together, you know. And, yeah, it was, it was lovely, so. There is a downside of being in the Navy, and that's the fact that you're away from your like, family. In my stint uh, in the Far East, my eldest son, um, Paul, was born uh, on January the 1st, and I didn't see him until May. These days, it's all changed in the Navy, you know. If, you're, if your partner or wife now, if I don't know whether you're married now, if your partner um, is pregnant, and um, they will fly you home. I was offered a post at Gibraltar. Uh, for two years. I was waiting for my family to come out uh, until they couldn't come out until we had a married quarter and about three or four days before we were due to uh, vacate the house um, my youngest son John um, was at the table doing some cutting out with um, scissors that he inadvertently put a pair of scissors in his eye. Um, 
I had a signal at the time to say that this had happened, but didn't, they didn't tell me which son it was. I then went and applied to have compassionate leave, and the captain of HMS Rook turned me down. And uh, <clears throat> it wasn't until um, he went on seasonal leave um, a couple of days later that his second in command granted me the compassionate leave. disappointed in when I left the Navy uh, I went up and I saw a very junior rating he gave me my, my discharge papers and that was it for doing 27 years of the Navy they couldn't even say thank you no regrets not one not one